all you flight simmers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, we are flying leg seven of the Bush Trip Interstate 5 by Perfect Flight. This is part of uh, the California, the part three, Ashland Parker to Brown Field. And leg seven consists of Whiteman Airport, KWHP, down to John Wayne Airport, Orange County Airport, KSNW. Today's flight uh, leg is about 46 nautical miles. And so it shouldn't take us all that long. Uh, just a, a point of interest uh, before we get started. I've had to do a bunch of tweaking since we are down in this huge metropolitan area of Los Angeles. So the uh, there might be a little bit of stutter. You might see that. Uh, Please bear with me on that. I've tried to tweak that down so that we still get the uh, quality of graphics that we would like to see as well as uh, a smoother flight. All right, well, with that, I'm going to uh, hop over into the cab. So I will see you there when I'm ready to uh, uh, get ready to take off. Okay, I am in the cabin and ready to uh, take off. Uh, She's going to start uh, speaking once we get up into the air. I'm going to minimize this, and again, you'll be able to watch it down below, and then I'll open this up once I get uh, uh, heading in the uh, proper direction. Again, we're facing north, and we've got to swing back around uh, to head south. So let's go ahead and get this started. And release the brake. Let's get uh, rolling down the runway here. And we should be able to lift off. Okay, there we go. All right, let's uh, swing around. We are flying. After take off. Take time for a scenic tour over the city of Los Angeles. It is the second most populous city in the United States and is known for its diverse culture, entertainment industry, and beautiful beaches. The city is home to numerous attractions, including Hollywood Beverly Hills, the Getty Center, and Disneyland. The climate in Los Angeles is generally mild with warm temperatures and plenty of sunshine throughout the year. However, the city is also prone to occasional wildfires and droughts. Los Angeles has a bustling economy and is a hub for the entertainment, fashion, and technology industries. It is also home to several prestigious universities, including the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and the University of Southern California. Okay, so one of the things they wanted us to do on this is to fly around Los Angeles. We're not going to do that just for the sake of uh, trying to keep a smoother flight going. Uh, but when we get close, you'll see the uh, skyscrapers and stuff as we get down there. Uh, let me minimize this. Let's get outside of the cab. Bring our flaps up before I forget that. And we are almost to uh, elevation level of 2,500 feet. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of views around because that seemed to uh, have a lot of uh, stuttering and stuff. So we're going to probably just kind of keep this one point of view here. So uh, kick back, enjoy the uh, metropolitan area, and we're going to get to see a lot of uh, suburban sprawl.
Okay, well, I moved this over to this side of the screen just so that you can see here's the uh, downtown area, the skyscraper. And I'm not sure if this would be Dodger Stadium. I thought that was uh, uh, down a little further south, but that could very well be Dodger Stadium. And uh, so we are then going to be heading to Anaheim, but that's this image right here. I think she should be speaking here pretty quick, so. At your discretion, resume the journey. Trace I-5 toward the southwest, and it will lead you to Anaheim. Anaheim is located in Orange County. It is commonly known as the home of the Disneyland Resort, which is a major tourist attraction and an economic driver for the region. In addition to Disneyland, Anaheim is also home to the Anaheim Convention Center, which hosts a variety of events throughout the year, including trade shows, conferences, and concerts. Anaheim has a population of approximately 350,000 people and is the 10th largest city in California. And I can't possibly imagine living in such a huge urban area. Uh, it literally would be an hour and a half, two hours just to get out to something semblance of uh, countryside. You would have to really kind of look at, like just below us right here, parks to, to kind of get your outdoor uh, enthusiasm. And if I uh, minimize this, you can see that that's the Pacific Ocean over there. So the beaches would be another uh, place to get away from the urban sprawl. Okay, we are almost to the Anaheim picture here. Actually, we are. This uh, overpass is this overpass right here. That set of, uh, I think, railroad tracks is right there. That patch of trees is that right there. So we are just starting to come up on over almost to that interchange. A little further on, you are on the township of Santa Ana. It is the second most populous city in Orange County. The city is known for its vibrant downtown area, which includes restaurants, bars, and shops. Santa Ana is also home to several museums, including the Bowers Museum and the Santa Ana Zoo. The city has a diverse population with a large Hispanic community and is known for its cultural events such as the annual Fiesta's Patrias Parade and Festival. Okay, so we've got about six nautical miles to go to uh get to our next uh, point, uh, which will be to the John Wayne Airport. And we only got four, just a little, little less than uh, five nautical miles. So once we get there, uh, I'm going to have to hop inside the cab very quickly. So uh, let's just finish enjoying the flight here.
Prepare to land at John Wayne Airport. The airport is named after the famous American actor John Wayne, who lived in the area for many years. It serves as a major gateway to Southern California and is a hub for many airlines such as American Airlines, Delta Airlines, and United Airlines. The airport offers a range of services and facilities to travelers including shops, restaurants, and lounges. Okay, and there's our airport right straight ahead in front of us here. So I need to start swinging around and let me get a flap down so that we can get down in elevation here. Start swinging around here. So it'll help us uh, lose some elevation as well. Now you see those two big buildings out in front? I believe those are probably blimp buildings, but I'm not for sure on that. Let's uh, start swinging back around so we can see the airport. And we should be somewhat lined up when we get, get around here. Go with another set of flaps here. And there's our airport. Apologize for the stuttering right there. And we should be in pretty good shape here. All right, lined up fairly well. Yeah, that's a little bit uh, right there at the end, uh, trying to listen to the nav, uh, to the narration, and to get ready to land uh, makes it a little tight. All right, be in pretty good shape here. And we got all white lights up there. Uh, so we are well on our glide path that we need. There's the first red one that's popped up. There's the second one. And Okay, back off on the throttle. There we go, landed down on the ground. Okay, and we are going to take this and head over here to the, uh, what looks like the uh, parking area. Not going to see quite as many aircraft here because I've kind of cut that back, but you do see one aircraft sitting over there at uh, one of the gates. And uh, I think we just need to cruise on over here. We will. Uh, not going to actually go to one of the gates. I'm going to avoid that vehicle that was there and then we are going to cruise over and be able to park right over here and we can probably just park anywhere in here all right well let's just go ahead and do that let's uh, slow this thing down and there we go there we go leg complete uh 21 minutes so not bad that was uh, from Whiteman uh, Airport, KWHP, to John Wayne Orange County Airport, KSNW. And that was leg seven. And we only have one more leg left, leg eight. And uh, that would be from uh, uh, John Wayne to Browns Airfield. So uh, looking forward to that and wrapping this uh, series up. Okay, all you flight simmers out there, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Ring that bell. It'll let you know when I'm uploading new videos and I'm doing that uh, on a regular basis. Okay, all you flight simmers out there, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, 
Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.